Hello everyone, welcome back to Zor Pilgrimage of the Sloths. Last time we failed to beat the final boss, but we're going to set off on a new pilgrimage. We're not going to take any blessings or burdens yet until we've beaten the game on its basic, most standard setting. So let's begin on our first trip. Try and get our three sticks and then see if we can't be as best prepared as possible for the encounters ahead. Is my... Yeah, give me that, because otherwise it all feels way too fast sliding around. Right, we got two one health enemies and one two health enemy. Sticks there, sticks there, tree to harvest here, and a petroglyph. Over here, let's start with just a walk. You'll be fine. Over here, I'm going to motivate, take one step to here, and then it's two actions to climb up a cliff. We learn about the club. Then the enemies go. Then back to us here. Just going to walk onto these sticks again. Now, this one's going to walk one step towards us. We can't get in, attack it, and take a step back all at once. So, I think I'm just going to discard and explore so I can stand my ground here. Now, for two actions, we can step in and attack. And here for two actions, we can attack and then step away. Right, we're going to need some food eventually because we don't start off with all too much. We can't get this far over to attack, so I'm just going to... Ah, no, this is too food to step back two spots, which is not helpful. I'd like to get up here, but that is climbing, which is going to be an extra action. There's no good choices here, really. Gonna have to wait for motivation to come back round. There's motivation. We've got two food here. Unfortunately, attacking up a ledge is extra work. So we'll step here, attack there, and then step over there. They're gonna step down. We can not walk into this experience for free. I want to harvest here and I want to strike there. So we'll get rid of a swipe here. Because on this side, we can play walk for one and attack. That food is going to be crucial. Ah, this is like a really, really unideal start. All right, we're going to take one damage to get this experience. We're going to harvest this to water so we get our third sticks. We're going to take one more damage to discard that. And then here, for motivation, we can just go one, two, three... Now, finally, we can make camp, having gathered all of the supplies here. So, not a great first encounter, I must say. All right, crafting. Small fire or planning. I'm going to go with small fire just because, oh boy, that was not a good amount of food in that encounter for us. Obviously, the orientation of all the stuff didn't really help. I'm also going to upgrade explore. Choice of nature walk, easy going, and climb. Plus one action for each adjacent tree and water tile. One food, two cost. Climb, ignore terrain, and height penalties. Let's try for a nature walk. And that is everything, so we will be going off to our second encounter.
All right, these ones are all going to have to filter past this, which is interesting because we can cause this to attack, which will certainly hit that Grimp at the very least. Let's see, Nature Walk, we are next to a tree. So this would be four actions. It says dead tree, but I still think it's a tree, right? One, two, three, four. Then here, I'm going to harvest this dead tree next to us. Then you come closer, you come closer, you come closer. Back over here. Let's explore because we can get the mushrooms on our way by. And here, what I'd like to do is step into the range of the Underflock Blaster and then step back out again. Activated if Slough steps adjacent. If active, attacks for two damage to all adjacent tiles. So if we go one, two, three. Are they going to go first or is the turret? Well, we'll go. If we stand. Hold on. If we move to here, there's a chance that this guy moves to there and doesn't get attacked anyway. So we'll move to here. They move. They attack us. They move. The turret goes off. Seemed fairly worthwhile. Let's take a lazy. We'll get this recipe. We'll get this rock. And then we're stood next to water over here. I just want to kill the insect, so we'll do that with... We don't need to harvest anything else, so let's do it with the swipe. Right, over here, I'll just discard the stone. Right, we don't need this meat. We have all eight of our food, so we can simply motivate and go... One, two, three. Get all that experience. This thing attacks even though we weren't there. Over here, we'll just... Actually, I'm just going to stay next to this water. There is a fish in this pond, so I'd like to harvest that, given the opportunity. We have loads and loads of food for now, though, so we can quite happily go... One, two, get a recipe. Shield. Back over here, we will just discard a walk. Over here, we will explore just to move on to this grass. To collect that, end our turn. Here, we can, we want the harvest for the fish, but here we can discard the swipe and refill our water immediately. Here, we'll harvest that fish. Nothing else left on the board that isn't just basic food. I'm still not sure if there's resources to be gained by destroying these things, but right now is not going to be the time to find out. Right, crafting. Four sticks available. None of this can be crafted. We can make a sharp stick with our rock. Attack adjacent target for two piercing damage. Armor is ignored. Or we can make a walking stick. Unfortunately, both of these are two stick requirements. I think I'd like to get planning going just so we can increase our hand size more than anything else. We can already make cord supply as well. Go on then. We'll just start crafting whatever's available to us. As for deck upgrades, let's upgrade. How does Nature Walk improve? Three actions plus two actions for each adjacent tree or water tile. Let's do that, because having one incredibly good card, I think, is not a bad place to be. Then back off to our next day once again, the Wondrous Nooks. Sounds like it's going to be a nitty-gritty kind of map. Well, we've got spikes. What else do we have? We have Gustwood blowing us around. We have a Triobelisk that we can get a card from. Sticks. Branch. Nuts. Pond. Petroglyph. Sticks, sticks, burrowing grubs. Remove 
to spawn sticks, stones. Okay. Quite a lot of stuff. Where do we want to begin? This has one HP. So I'm going to start with move, kill. You have two actions. You can fly in and attack me. The Gustwood is going to push us to the left anyway. I'm going to come up here because we have a harvest card. It shouldn't be too hard to get to this pile of stones. And then maybe that branch pile afterwards. But down here. Let's explore. I'm going to step on this and then over here. So the wind pushes me there. I anticipate being attacked here. That's fine. Then we're going to have to just attack, I think. We're going to get attacked there again before all is well. As for us, we're going to get pushed in that direction. Which is not ideal. We'll just step to here, get pushed into this stick. We get attacked again. Then we can attack here. If we play lazy for three, we can hit that. Then we'll step into those mushrooms. Here we're now being pushed in that direction. We can get to like near the tree. We could nature hike. Nut tree clasps as a tree as well. I'm going to walk to here in anticipation of being blown there. I'm going to try and get pushed into the tangle roots so I don't have to spend actions moving into them. We're going to harvest stone here. Uh, we're being pushed to the right anyway, so I'm just going to discard a stone. Push to the right. And now we're being pushed down and to the right. So we're both being pushed onto these tiles where we want to be. So with that in mind, we can discard a stone happily. We can discard a fish happily. Up here, I want to destroy, to harvest, or destroy, remove to sticks. So let's go with destroy. Except I'm going to get pushed away from those sticks, which is annoying. We're getting pushed down and to the left, so... Let's just go with... Lazy for now. Gazing Effigy increases damage if we're ever able to build one. We pick up that XP, which is lovely. We're now being pushed to the left. So getting over to these sticks is going to be no easy thing. We want to get this, which we'll probably do from down here because we can get the nuts first. Or we could just start going down there and ignore these sticks. But I'd really, I'd really like the sticks, you know? Actually, we have motivation. We can go two and three and just get the sticks all in one fell swoop. And we shuffle and draw motivation again immediately, which is nice. We don't have a harvest card for this yet. So I'm going to discard swipe so that we can refresh our water immediately. We get pushed to the left. We're now next to the nut tree. There's our harvest card. So we're going to play motivation to get out of this land of spikes. We're going to harvest these nuts. We refill our water immediately. We're being pushed that direction now. So, we're going to come to here. Yeah. We're going to move. We're being pushed that way. That's annoying. I want to be next to the tree to play nature walk in a minute. Nature hike. 
for five actions, but we need to be next to... Oh, if we're next to the tree and the water, we'll have like a thousand actions. That'll be incredible. But we're being pushed this way right now. So... I will simply play a walk, get this nut. Get pushed. Now we're being pushed to the right. Uh, let's just spend a walk on that. We're being pushed to the right, so I want to be stood here. Which we can do. Ah, oh, I was not paying attention. That's totally on me. Right, the most important thing for us is to not be in the way of Holger when she wants to get by in a second. But I don't have an alternate card to play, which is annoying. So we'll discard that. Holger doesn't have any food either. I'm so bad. So we can take the pain... Or we can eat the nuts. We have two nuts. So eating one is not the end of the world. I'm not really thinking ahead enough here. We need to get over to this and harvest it. But you don't have any water. Which is also bad. Right, we will eat a nut. You get pushed into the log, which is fine. Spikes swap over. Oh, now... This is in the way. Uh, we can motivate to here. Then we can nature hike. We have seven actions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll probably do since we can't get past our friend here. I'm going to have to send you around the back if you're going to harvest that. So we will nature hike right now. Gives us enough time to attack there. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to discard a swipe. And we're both going to get pushed closer to the tree. We can attack that for one. We can attack that for one. Now we don't have to deal with the wind, which is lovely. Spikes change, that's fine. Yeah. Let's just hit these. Grab another stick. Uh, we have enough cards to not worry about what comes after this, so we can do that. Gorb is going to discard a branch. Olga is going to harvest this Triobelisk. What card do we get? Sneak, hop, and assist. What do I fancy most? I do like a hop. I'll grab, grab a hop, I think. And then we are ready to make camp. We're going to need to sort out some healing eventually, because it's not going strong. But, you know... We'll figure it out. Crafting. Right, we have almost enough stuff for a bubbling soup, but not enough for a whole lot else right now. We can make a woodshed or a cozy fire, but not both. The woodshed gives us more sticks every go. This is max food. Or we could make a club as an alternate attack card, evade being ignored. Oh dear, there's never enough stuff, is there? There's never enough stuff. We have only one log. I'm going to go cozy fire, just so that we then have more food that we can do more stuff with to then fuel the woodshed, I think. Uh, we can make a walking stick. Give Sloth two actions. We have a move slot available. So, 
wouldn't be the worst thing to do. And later on, we might want to craft things that come after the walking stick, which use it as a component, I think. Or we could make a sharp stick because stone would be destroyed if we use it, whereas a sharp stick wouldn't. Yeah, let's make that. Back to the deck. So we'll swap this for that. Then we've got 5 XP to upgrade with. Let's upgrade Harvest. Harvest all tiles within one of the target. If that upgrades to within two of the target area, that's actually going to be really, really good. It's expensive, but I think it might be worth it. This is two. Let's do it, because I haven't experimented with it before. Harvest area two, yeah. It's four water, though. I can't afford that. I have three water max. All right. We'll get to you eventually. In that case, let's upgrade another explore. Flurry, strain, collect. Strain doesn't sound good. Oh no, free. Cost is free if food is full. We have... We start every round with full food. And if we have this giant harvest, that's going to harvest food as well. So let's get weird. Let's try new things. Let's not get stuck in a rut. And let's start the next day. Yeah, I'm more injured than I'd like to be. Hopefully there'll be some healing glyphs soon. There's one. Mending glyph. All right, what else do we have? There is a root mother. Spreads tangled roots. Leaf piles. Destroy a harvest. Search for resource. A tuba, a mending glyph, tumbleweed, gustwood, dead tree. Uh, as for enemies to cause us really direct harm, it's just this guy. Which is no massive worry. So the root mothers are going to be a problem just in that they create rough terrain on the ground that we then have to traverse through and if our food is low that gets to be very difficult there's also a recipe glyph over there this grass can be harvested and there's water there which is good with double trees and tree water nature hike will be very good once we get to those spots so I'm most concerned with getting to the root mothers first. We're being pushed in this direction. So let's start off with one, two, three. Down here. I'd like to hold off on nature walking or nature hiking as long as I can. So I'm going to move to here as if I was then going to be pushed one up. That's fine. You make a rough terrain. You make a rough terrain. You move of your own volition. We can hop directly onto this tile. That seems great to me. Uh, if I was stood like here and did a greedy, that's going to get decent stuff for us, I think. Otherwise, where are we being blown? That way. Let's lazy to here. You'll get blown. You make more rough terrain. You make more rough terrain. You move. And I am ready to nature hike next to a tree and water. Five actions. Apparently this doesn't count as a tree. Interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this because this is the thing that's threatening to kill me fastest. Then we have two actions remaining. So with that, I'm going to step on this 
recipe glyph. The Cyclops Wand sounds exciting. Then I can't attack this Root Mother with the one action I have remaining, so we'll stand still. We are currently being pushed to the right. Uh, we have... We're missing 2 HP. You're missing 4 HP. I'd rather they get the heal, but I don't think we're going to manage that from over here. We're being pushed to the right. I'm just going to... Am I going to motivate myself? We're going to go one, two, three, then get pushed to the right. Right, up here, I just want to attack the tree as swiftly as I can. So we'll start with sharp stick. Down here, I want to get over towards that. We're being pushed down and to the right next. Uh, I just guess I'm going to do this. Push down and to the right. Still just worrying about attacking that tree. Uh, nature hike is three actions. So with that, we can go attack once, attack a second time. They drop some bark. Over here, we're at full food, so we can strain, which is very nice. We're being pushed down and to the left. So... I guess we did not find anything. We get pushed. Over here, we want to attack this tree as swiftly as possible. We are being pushed to the left. I really want that XP. Yeah. I'm gonna swipe for one, I suppose. Although I'd like to harvest this tuba, which I need more water for, so we'll do it that way. Where are we being blown? To the left. I'll step down here for the food. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Yeah, that's on me. Uh, I want to be stood here when I harvest. Where are we being blown next? Up to the left. Alright, I don't have enough movement to get through there, but we can discard a nut for now. That's fine. We get pushed back to where we had come from, which is actually quite good. We're now being pushed up and to the right, which is great, because if I stand here, then we're going to be pushed into the leaf pile that we can't get into. Over here, sharp stick would be good. But I want the water to harvest this. So it's going to be a walk, which is unideal, but we'll deal with it. Here, we're going to play Greedy. This is getting all of it, isn't it? Harvest all tiles within one of the target. Uh, so I didn't get the leaf pile or the large meat. I am a tiny bit confused, or the game is a tiny bit broken. I assume it's around me, but I guess maybe I harvested something next to me? Not entirely sure. We'll figure it out eventually. We're being pushed to the right now. We will step to here and then attack. Get pushed. I need to get back up to that water in an ideal world. Which way are we being pushed next? Down and right. Oh god. Um, eventually I'm going to need this food as well. But let's do... Oh god. That. It's not going great, guys. 
It's not exactly going great. Let's discard Bark, where are we being pushed? Down and to the right. Now we're being pushed down and to the left. I'm never going to get back to that water for this grass, am I? I should have attacked the leaves! I'm so bad. We're being pushed down and to the left. So I'm going to hop to here. We get pushed. We can discard a fish. You can attack with a walk. We stand on the glyph. Here. We can strain to get back up to the water. We're being pushed up and to the right. I want the tuba. I've been going so carefully. If I pass this, it does hurt. That's annoying. Right, where's my harvest cards? Now being pushed up and to the right. Uh, Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to hit that. I'm going to take my leaf. And I'm going to start moving in this direction and say sorry to the grass. Here, yeah, we're going to harvest this tuba. Right, motivation. We're being pushed to the right now. I need this food more than anything else. We can discard a tuba. Pushed to the right. We need to get over to this food as well. But right now, I can attack this tumbleweed. We can only play hop without taking damage. We have three. Is now a, as good a time as any to play greedy. Not really. Um... Then why not just play an attack card? Drop some sticks here. We have no water, but we can attack that. Nothing inside of it. We get pushed. Save motivation for here. Down here. I will discard a water card. This, this whole thing has just become a massive mess. I must concede. Normally it's all gone so swimmingly, but right now it's just terrible. Right here, we can walk and finally get some more food. Here, we can hop for one. Right, we need to kill this Gustwood swiftly. We'll play Motivation on you down here. I'm going to assume this is not a tree. You're a tree, though. So if we go... One, two. Here, we play Motivation. Get the sticks. It looks like grass. Um, okay, we're going to play Nature Hike and go attack, attack, attack. We still have one action left. We can't attack this, but we can grab that. And we're just going to play Make Camp and be happy about it, I think. That was not pretty. I'll be the first to tell you. At least... Holger is healthy again. Crafting. 
training dummy, gang card swipe. We can make a shield. I've never had a shield before. We can make bandages to heal our injured guy. Three sticks is all we've got. No logs. No goo. No eyes. No shells. Do I want a shield? Give Sloth one armor. Probably not going to be super helpful if we haven't yet got... Um, brain, what's it called? Extra water from Water Basin. So I'm going to take Training Dummy because I would really like to get to plus one attack card range and plus one base damage. We get an extra swipe card. Can't craft anything there. Can't craft anything there. So over to the deck. Swipe Sharp Stick. You upgrade to something I couldn't even afford to play if I wanted to. How do you upgrade? Give Sloth four actions. Cost is free if food is full. Let's do that. And then three XP left. Let's upgrade Swipe. I would have liked something with range. Didn't get it, so... Rush, charge to the target in a straight line, attack for one, means we can attack, I think, for four if it goes perfectly, but big strike is only one water. Our other harvest card is a three water card, which is kind of a problem, but let's go rush. Right, that is going to be all for today. Join me next time. We'll continue on our pilgrimage. See if we can't get a bit healthier and a bit more well-equipped for now, though. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, please do consider subscribing. If you want to check out the game for yourselves, you can find the links down in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.